Hey everyone, we're Tow Away Couple. I'm Tom, the driver. And I'm Bunny, the bed maker. Yes, and we have Champ here in <laughs> our video today. We do. Champ is actually our neighbor's dog, but he likes us better. Yeah, he comes over here and stays <laughs> on our porch, and Bunny feeds him scrambled eggs every morning for breakfast, and he gets all of our leftovers at dinner. I keep trying to tell Tom he'd make a great travel <laughs> companion. He is a great dog, except he digs <laughs> holes in our yard. Yep. Way too many. <laughs> Knocks on our door at 10.30 at night for cookies. Yep, so, so today we're going to talk about our sleeper berth. Uh, most requested because we took a couple pictures, I took a couple pictures of Bunny sleeping back there and everyone's like do a video on your sleeping berth and we recently did one but because of the audio on the camera it didn't come out very good. Right. So now here's our statement. We are not legal scholars. We posted a couple pictures and I thought it was all in fun on Facebook and my God, it got into a 50 comment debate on legalities and DOT and inspections. This video is not about that. We're not looking for advice. We're not looking for opinions. We're not looking for nothing. You guys just wanted <laughs> to see what our sleeper berth looked like. We're just gonna show you what our sleeper berth looked like. If you think it's illegal, we're okay with that. If you think it's legal, we're okay with that. We honestly don't care. Right, right. <laughs> now, yeah, because we've been told that you have to take the front seat out in order to make it legal. legal. But we're also told that they don't really care that much anymore. That law was 10, 12 years ago. It was so yesterday that we're kind of given the option and we're kind of explained that technically on law, if they wanted to nab us for it, they could. But reality is they have not heard of anyone actually getting a ticket from it. And we talked to many people who have sleeping berths. They have not taken out their passenger front seat and we chose not to. Risk versus reward. We're going for the risk because we want our truck to have a passenger seat. Right, right. Because we like, to, there's many, many hours that we do not have to be in the sleeper berth and we prefer to be up, up front speaking with each other. Exactly. Instead of somebody sitting way, way in the back. Way behind, yeah. So, so next video, we're actually going to be talking about our window coverings. Mm -hmm. So definitely check that out because we didn't know. And that was definitely a good move on our part. So I'm going to... Pause the camera, Bunny's gonna explain the whole sleeper berth. I'm just gonna walk around with the camera so that way I may chime in from behind the camera, but other than that, we're just gonna give you a quick tour of our sleeping berth. Correct. All right, so one second and we're gonna turn this around. All right, so here we go. This is our DOT approved sleeper berth. Actually, underneath this is the actual mattress that comes with it. It. Um, is a little hard. It's an inner spring. <laughs> it's an inner spring. So we choose to put a, some memory foam on top, give a little bit more comfort. Um, probably wouldn't be as bouncy with just a regular mattress, but you got to sacrifice comfort, I guess, sometimes. Well, we started with the memory foam. We, we did made start a bed with the memory foam. On the, the little fold out things and put the memory foam on that. Correct. And then so since we had the memory foam, we continued to use it on our sleeping berth. Right. So what we did, like I said, we went ahead and stacked this up. It is DOT really high. <laughs> legal um, as far as width and length. It's actually beyond, I think, on one of the two. It is a wood house unit. We did have it installed at Dan's Hitch in Elkhart. It ran us, it's $29.95, I believe, for the sleeper berth, an additional $500 for the install. But after we seen what it took. Oh, no, no. Total install and everything was $31.95. It was $2,500 or $2,599 for just a unit. And then it was like $500 to install. So right. you're close, <laughs> but we don't want to scare people. <laughs> no, but let me tell you, after seeing what came out of this, we are so glad that we didn't even attempt to do that by ourselves. We lost everything. Right. Well, the big thing here is your door panels. So they remove your door panels completely. They put in these new door panels. You will lose access to your windows. So you cannot roll your windows up or down anymore but you can lock and unlock your door so you do have that access and you can open it from the inside all right so that's what that is so you do have this uh, panel inside here that gives it the extra length 
For your head and your feet. For your head and your feet. Somebody that's six foot, it's still going to be a little bit squishy, but somebody like me that's... You don't even need them. I don't need them. <laughs> but it is actually great to stretch out. That way you don't have to sleep in a ball. The sleeper berth is good if you are going to be team drivers. That way somebody has to legally be in the sleeper berth for at least eight hours of their downtime. So it makes it a lot more easier. That way you can just pick up and keep, continue. We use it. Tom drives, drives us there. He pulls the trailer there. I turn around, I pull the deadhead miles back. And now we were gonna continually do it, but now we're just, after each run, we will get a hotel and get some rest. Yeah, we, we need the rest. Right. Now you so, lose access to your windows. You do lose access to your windows. You can't roll them up or down because obviously the concave is probably a good four inches deep or so. Right, so you've got that both on the foot and on the head. Now, in some units, you do not lose the back of your seat. We did because our seat is one whole unit. So we, they couldn't just take out the, the seats and leave the back. They had to remove the whole thing. But another thing what it did do, what was good, is it gave us all this extra room for extra more storage that right. we could use. We can put bags down here. I mean, that's pretty wide. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we get a bunch of soft bags with our clothes and we fill it to the height of the mattress. Mm -hmm. And then we have some body pillows right. that go on top of the bags to give us cushion from the hard yeah. surface, the bolts and all the brackets and everything. And we did also find too, by putting the soft bags back here with our extra clothes and the extra pillows, that we can actually both fit back in here if we need to sleep. Now it does come with a net. It does come with a net. I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute, but- You don't wanna be a projectile. You don't wanna be a projectile. <laughs> That's the legal part of it. One thing that is nice though is it does have access here so you still can get to your under storage in your vehicle. So if you have those little um, under panels or on the, on the Dodge, you've got these little hidden things here that you can get to. So you can still get to that and get everything taken care of that you need to put underneath there. All right, so if you guys just want to pause for one moment, we'll show you how you are legally supposed to sleep in here. All right, so here we are. This is how we roll. <laughs> so this is the legal portion of your DOT. Like I said, you do have to have the netting up over you when you are traveling. That way you don't become a circus clown and do a projectile if you have to slam on your brakes or God forbid get into an accident. This is your seatbelt, your harness. Uh, like I said, we do put the body pillows right here. That way we have cushion from the back side. We generally travel with one to two pillows and a blanket. And uh, like I said, you can tell with the, even with the pillow in here, You've got plenty of room to stretch out and definitely get your rest. Remember, you do have to have 10 hours of downtime during your, your break. 11 or 14. Um, and you do have to be in here for at least eight hours in the, in the berth before you go back into the driver position. So that being said, this is our legal DOT sleeping berth. If you guys have any questions, you can find us on towawaycouple.com. Uh, go to our Instagram and our Facebook. Like us. And Twitter. <laughs> and Twitter. At Towaway Couple. Yes. So All that right. being said, we'll see you down the road. We'll see you down the road.